if you are using a system with low RAM and tired of slow performance, I have got just the tool for you, MC RAM Booster. In today's video, I will walk you through how to use this RAM Booster effectively to get the most out of your PC and boost your FPS in game. Whether you are a gamer or just want smoother performance, this tool can help you. Let's dive in. Alright, first of all, what we are gonna do here, especially for 4GB RAM user or 8GB RAM user, we will increase our virtual memory. For that, simply you need to open any file explorer and then right click on this PC, go into the properties and you will see here, currently I'm using 16GB RAM, right? You need to go into these advanced system settings and then again in the advanced tab, under the performance, go into the settings and then again advanced and then virtual memory change it now by default it's automatically manage pegging file size for all drivers you need to uncheck this choose the system drive or if you are using any ssd then or nvme then choose their drive and then click on the customize now in the initial size as i said earlier choose the recommended one 2934 mb and uh, in the maximum size, you need to multiply your exact RAM, the installed RAM memory. Open calculator. And then simply you need to type here 1024, that's your uh, 1 GB RAM in MB size. Multiply with 16, your exact RAM. Now that's your exact size uh, of your RAM. In MB now again what you need to do here multiply with 1.5 if you have 8 GBM and if you have 4 GBM then you can multiply it three times maximum three times and minimum 1.5 so if you have 8 GBM then you can multiply it with 1.5 and if you have 4 GB RAM then you can increase it more you need at least uh, you need to multiply with 3 times right now in my case I'm using 16 GB RAM so 1.5 is still enough for me and then that's it now 24.576 copy this value and paste in the maximum size right and then click on OK now the changes you may you have uh, you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect click on ok hit apply ok and ok and now simply you need to restart your pc right now i'm not restarting my pc because i need to show you something more better so restart later now you need to download this tool actually i have provided the link in the description you can easily find it out and after installation, simply you need to launch this tool. Now go into the system information where you can actually see the physical memory and few options for smart optimize, recovery RAM and CPU boost. Now the thing is if you're uh, currently I have 77% free RAM but if you see here the below then like 50% then you can simply use the smart boost. It will boost your free RAM. You can see and uh, leave the recovery RAM now the CPU boost if you see here like your CPU usage is above than 30 percent then you can boost it otherwise don't use it now in the system speed up you will see here few options what you need to do here disable 8.3 file name creation always keep Windows kernel in memory automatic unload unused DLL and uh, check this these three options right now a few more things automatically and running task by default 2000 2000 uh, sorry 200 and 2000 that's enough for every cpu but the thing is some cpus need more time and some cpu needs uh, less time so in that case you need to click on the recommended value so it will automatically adjust all these settings for you right you don't need to uh, configure uh, configure these settings according to my CPU. Just click on the recommended value. It will check 
all the options and all the values according to your CPU performance. Now boost foreground application and boost background application. Now if you are doing games or doing heavy tasks like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or something else. So in that case you need to use the boost foreground applications and if you want to enhance your operating system performance in that case you can boost your background task but the best thing is boost always foreground applications foreground means that you are currently using All right now just pause that's my program and currently I'm working on this so it will boost the performance of this program and if I minimize uh, sorry if I choose the boost background uh, background task so whenever you minimize this it will always prefer the background tasks like um, discord pc manager nvidia settings everything in the background so that's the foreground and background in the options you will again see a few more things automatic optimize if free ram is below than 1435 and pause between auto again guys this is my setting but in case if you are using any different pc specs then what you need to do here recommended video it will automatically adjust all the settings according to your CPU and then hit apply always make sure when you click on the recommended video click on the apply video and after doing these settings guys simply you need to restart your PC it will definitely enhance your PC performance and of course it will free up your RAM usage that's helpful for you after doing this, these things guys just minimize it, keep running it in the background and that's it. That's a wrap on today's tutorial. By setting up MZ RAM booster this way, you will be able to squeeze more performance out of your system, especially if you are short on RAM. Whether you are gaming or just want smoother multiple tasking, this tool is a great way to boost your PC performance without any expensive upgrades. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any question. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.